Welcome back my turtles to another art video with Foxfoot Crafts. Today I'm going to be working on a comic book cover blank commission that I got. The customer requested the Batman Who Laughs and so after looking through the comics that I had they decided that the Year of the Villain Hell Arisen uh, blank that I had would suit this character the best. So like always I, cut, I papered down, sketched it out, and then used my light board to go through and transfer it for the clean line art. For this piece it does require a lot of different layers just because there's so much black to it and if you just go at it with a black marker and color it in it's going to be really just bland and kind of stagnant so I, I start off with some lighter colors figure out where I want those lighter shades and kind of build the colors on top of that. Um, I actually have found it better to not use a black marker for a lot of it um, using light grays, purples, blues, and kind of closer colors to give it that black appearance without just muting everything and having it look bland. For the background, I wanted to originally just do one solid color, but again, I figured it'd look kind of stagnant. So I went ahead and tried to color match the purples and greens from the title up at the top, and I feel like it really suits it. And you guys know that I'm notorious. My default is kind of polka dots, so. And instead of using one of my normal liner pins, since this Batman is more gritty and kind of edgy, I went ahead and used a Bic ballpoint pen. After using them on the zine or zine work for my friend Met, it really kind of helped me to see that you, know, you can use these to do really nice line art as well but you do have to make sure to do it on top of your markers if you line with a Bic pin and then go back with your markers your markers will bleed and smear and so it's it's kind of a final touch thing that you add to it but for this piece it really pulls it together I also figured as a final touch I would do some fake blood splatter using an old toothbrush. And for our final reveal, there we have it. Pretty pleased with how this turned out, not my normal 
art style, but I think I did a really good job at capturing it, so. Who's your favorite version of Batman? Comment below. Thank you guys for tuning in and see you guys next time.